This Paul Gow Masterclass brought to you by Genesis. All right, mate, there's, there's very minimal things wrong with your game, so it's hard to give you a masterclass. But one thing I've noticed is definitely with your driver, you're talking about the left to riders that you get and the club gets stuck in behind you. But the reason why is because your arms are away from your body and your club gets in behind you, it gets more rounded than it should be. And then your body will react to that. Club's behind you, either going to flip it over that way or yeah. hang on for dear life. That's exactly. What so is. what we've got to do, and I'll run you through it from behind, we've got to get your arms close. So when your arms are in close to your body, the shaft can go more up. Vertical, yeah. Yeah, if it gets vertical, it's a good feeling because when the club's vertical there and your shoulders turn, the club gets over there. Yeah. So we're going to stop you from wanting to get it there with your arms and flattening your arms out to get making your arms like close to your body and the club vertical. Yep. So set up like you're going to hit one. All right, now you're set up. You, you can see that you've worked really hard on it. It's awesome. You don't ever have to do anything with your setup other than keep working on it. So what, what we have happened from the get-go, your arms get a little bit further away from you. This goes that way, and now it's it's too rounded out, so yep. there's a big gap in here. So what we want more is for you to bring the club straight back, feel like the club's outside your hands, and this to stay on your, your left arm to stay on your left chest. Yep. And then that'll get the club feeling like that, club vertical. And then coming back down, you'll create the room by staying over the ball. This will be deeper. So the other suggestion would be to keep that as deep as possible. Yep. So I actually struggle. I've got a hip issue, so that's one of the things that uh, I had been trying to work on, but through footy injuries, right. I've got a bung hip, essentially. Oh, is it? That's what you get for running around a bloody field for all those years, <laughs> the, getting the knocked foot, over. The footy getting in the way of the golf. <laughs> Fancy that. So if you can't turn as much, just make sure the shaft gets a lot more vertical in yep. the backswing. And, and the key with that is, is to keep over, and you're strong in the core, is make sure with the driver you stay over the ball on the way down. Yep. So this will help you stay over it on the way back, have your backside out on the way down and your arms will swing under your body so yep. then you, you're not this way. Yep. So let's give that a rip. Perfect. Long and strong. Did feel a little bit strange. Yeah, well, it'll feel weird. Yeah, you know, it's something you're going to have to work on, especially not too many people have told you to get the club vertical, vertical yeah, but yeah. that's the way to do it. And then your, arm, your shoulders will turn, club will follow it, bang, straight back down. Yep. And you'll get another 30 metres out of it. Great. That'll be ridiculous. That was closer again. So, yeah, yeah. It just feels that's good. different and better. If Brandon thought a 50-metre goal was tough, wait till he takes on the 110-metre challenge. I'd rather have the pressure I have on a footy field than the pressure that you guys had to deal with on a oh, golf course. Oh, this has got to be easy. You know, the wind howling out of the left-hand side.